I am, I am the, the humble, humble seer. seer. Hello, and welcome to the humble seer. So let's talk Matthew McConaughey and his wife. So we're going to do the traditional humble seer card reading, and uh, we'll do it overall how he views her and how she views him. And I get this is a this is a good match. It's a good relationship. But let's see what the cards want to tell us. Okay. So this is uh, their overall. This is how he views her. And um, this is how he views or she views him. And I get that he, you know, he plays the Hollywood game to a certain extent. He doesn't go too far, but some might think he does. Okay, this is their overall. And the overall is the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is travel, movement in a positive direction, mission, progress made, results, on the horizon. I mean, it's not your two of cups or your four of wands or your lovers or 10 of cups or nine of cups, but you know, it's not the 10 of swords either, but it's the six of swords. It, this is a, this is a, uh, a real marriage as far as a Hollywood marriage can go. Right. Because you still have that, that, you know, enters the picture, but is, uh, a Hollywood relationship marriage goes, it's good. And the six of swords is just, you know, it's, it's movement in a positive direction. So it's, it's what I get from that card. Cause I'm not your traditional card reader, but you know, just the base, basically it's a positive relationship is what I get. It's not negative. It's not fake and phony. There's effort put in, there's love there. There's in love there. And it's, you know, it's, it's pretty solid. This is how he views her. He views her as the star. And the star card is dreams fulfilled. Good prospects. Now, I'm going to leave it with uh, dreams fulfilled because she is everything to him, to Matthew. She is that person that lights his light, makes him happy, pleases him. She is the love of his life. She is, in his eyes, the star. The star can do no wrong. The star is, it's all about them. So what I get is he puts her on a pedestal. Uh, 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 he shouldn't do that. And in time, he'll understand why he shouldn't do that. But let's just keep it where we're, you know, as a, the, relationship, right? So he, again, he sees her as the star and she is his dream fulfilled. And, you know, it, there's a lot of love there. But, um, this is how she views him. Ace of wands. So she views him as, uh, you know, family, new business, exciting times. It's also birth of a son. I don't know if they're having more children, but at any rate, um, there's really not a whole lot to say here. Like I said at the beginning, it's a, it's a good relationship, you know, as good as, you know, Hollywood relationships go. It's good. It's fulfilling. There's love there. There is, uh, it's simple living. It's realistic living. But that Hollywood world, once again, still does creep in. But it is, um, it's a good life. It's a happy life. It's a content life. It is, uh, yeah. But I, I, again, I do see things that will start to creep in, that will break things up. They'll have start, you, you know, there's going to be a, a person that enters the picture that is going to rock their very foundation and it's going to make him start to see her in a different light. It's like that star will turn upside down, if you will. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by the humble seer. Please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this reading. If you like what I do, consider buying me a coffee and that's in the description box below. And until next time, as always, you take good care and we will talk again soon. Bye-bye.